We use these terms first, second and third reading because back in the days of the early parliaments in England, when many of the members could neither read nor write, one of the clerks would literally read out the details of the bills. So we, we still have this reference. What's important though about this is that it's, it makes the point that members of parliament should never be ambushed in the chambers. They should always have full information. So we have a first reading to alert the members of the fact that the bill is being tabled. We have a second reading to, to uh, permit the members to discuss it. We have a third reading to allow the members yet again to consider what they think about it. But again, it all stems from these early, very early Westminster sort of practices, but with a very practical outcome.